All right, guys. Uh, I'm working on the next project here. Actually, I'm almost done with it already. I don't think you guys ever seen it. Um, this is my Matthew and Company, I believe is how you pronounce it, or Matthew's Company. You can look on the side. Uh, stock driver. Now I bought this here last spring and I never did a video on it. Um, and uh, used it last spring and I used it just fall, last fall a little bit. And it works really good. Uh, it is a thousand PTO, uh, which I like. Uh, most of them are, anyways. But basically, what we've been doing to it is uh, put new skirting in the front here on each side. Uh, never had skirting on it. Uh, this is what was left of the old skirting on here. It basically, just wore off, ripped off. So, put new skirting on it, and I went ahead here um, with Shoop, which, as you can see, I've got a lot more parts here coming in, and I still got more coming in, but in this box here, I'm not done yet, are all new stock chopper knives for it. Um, I got, oh, I think I've replacing about 30 of them or 33 knives on here um, it is tandem which I like too uh, the tires are fairly new but uh, this one here tends to leak a little bit and goes flat after a few months so I was thinking about getting tire jacked and I didn't order it but I just went ahead and bought this uh, slime, green slime. Um, I've used it before. It works. I don't think it works as good as what uh, Tire Jack does from watching the One Lonely Farmer's videos, but uh, I'm gonna put this in there um, and I think it should just fix the problem. Like I said, it doesn't go flat in a day. It takes a few months for it to actually... I mean, this has been sitting in here all winter and it's actually pretty it's actually got quite a bit of air in it yet. But, uh, yeah. I can take you underneath here and show you what I got and what I've been working on. Oh. Uh, you get the light on in here. I don't know if it's going to make a real big difference or not. Probably not. Basically, um, here's the knives underneath here. Now, if you look above, these are all new knives that I've done this row here already. Um, that one there I didn't have to change. Um, but basically I'm going by, uh, uh, here's uh, three bolts and uh, here's the back support and then here's your knife right here. So basically if you're getting down, ooh, what the heck? So basically if you're getting close to this back uh, support or whatever because here's your knife and here's the back uh, support if you're getting really close to that edge you might as well change them because otherwise you're just going to wear these out and uh, that's a lot harder to change because you have to take the rod out and uh, yeah it's just going to cause more of an ass ache than anything so basically um, this one here and I would leave yet because it's got quite a bit of material left on it but then if you go to this one here you can see that there's nothing here anymore so that one will be getting changed and then if you look at this one here you got at least a half inch maybe a little bit more material there yet so that one will leave but uh, yeah um, as you can see I've already taken these out here, I did quite a few of them before I stopped last night, but I've changed out two rows already, I just got this this row here yet, and then the row in the front there, the duo, and I will be done doing this. So, um, 
went ahead, when I bought the knives and bought all new bolts, um, I figured it's better just to put new bolts in, not trying, instead of trying to use the old bolts. Uh, basically, here's your bolt. Uh, 100 bucks worth of bolts that were in this bag here. And uh, all the nuts and all that, I don't remember how much the nuts are, they're locking nuts. So I just went ahead and bought all those as well. I can put all new hardware with the knives on it. And that way I don't have to worry about the old ones failing and losing the knives because those knives, um, even with the discount in that, I think they're right around six bucks a piece yet. So the knives are fairly cheap, but they're not fairly expensive either. But, um, but yeah, um, just about done with this thing. Uh, took the side panel off and cleaned it all out and checked the belts on it. Uh, I'm just going to start greasing everything up on it here. And then I'm going to get two new hydraulic hoses yet for it. And uh, uh, put that slime in the tire and she should be ready to go after I get the rest of the knives. Um, I'm hoping here in the next, I'm hoping two weeks, um, like I could get out in the field and at least do some stock chopping. Um, just, I got probably 50 acres to do yet, so I get that taken care of. But, yeah, this is my stock chopper, and uh, just about got it ready to go for the spring here, and um, get this project done, and we'll move to the next one. So, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and thanks for watching, guys. Bye.